What is going on my fellow Normakians and viewers, Normak here, back with another unboxing as of Monday, October the 6th of 2014. Now I got a package from FedEx, so of course you guys already know what it is based on the title. Let's go ahead and get this baby out, I'm pretty excited. Um, now we gotta go through another package, alright, let's see. it out and it is Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD remix for the PlayStation uh, 3 exclusive it includes Kingdom Hearts 2 final mix, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep final mix, and the HD cutscenes uh, version of Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mits originally on the PS2, Birth by Sleep Final Mits originally on PSP, and Recoded as the game itself was on the D Nintendo DS. So, pretty excited. Let's go ahead and get the uh, wrapping off. But as you can tell, obviously, this is the Japanese imported version of the game. Obviously, I could not resist myself with Kingdom Hearts being my favorite franchise of all time. I did the exact same thing with Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD remits. I'll try to have like a side clip if possible if I still uh, can get access to it if not uh, disregard that message if I don't have a little clip to show picture to picture style but yeah here it is on the side Kingdom Hearts 2.5 uh, HD 2.5 remits. I always say 2.5 HD remits. When it was first announced, 1.5, it was always hard to remember how does it go. So I just kind of put the numbers um, first of the in front of the HD part. But anyway, yeah. So here's the packaging. It's a badass packaging. Ever since uh, they first showed the packaging, the box are how it's gonna look. I was so in love. I was like, this is a collector's edition on its own. Just the box art. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and look at the back here. Obviously, um, this is in English, so I can read every single thing that says. Nah, I only can read the titles, but, uh, yeah. I'm pretty excited to play this, even though I'm not gonna get very far. It's just one of those impulse buys. I'm pretty good about turning stuff around when I need to, um, so I'm probably not gonna have this for long, but I definitely I wanted to have an unboxing for you guys so you guys could get hyped with me for this uh, Japanese launch of the game even though it kind of came out last week but no big deal um, but there's the disc itself looking awesome with Sora on there I'm guessing this is a Square Enix code card and then we have our manuals and there's manuals man they they still going strong with the manuals like this thing's thick but does that have colors too man they are not having economic trouble over there, aren't they? At least they aren't acting like it. But it has character bios and everything. Wow. It's pretty awesome. They got all this stuff in here. This might as well be a strategy guide if you ask me. <laughs> no, just kidding. Anyway, and uh, I don't know... Well, you guys probably already seen the code. I don't care. It's fun for Kingdom Hearts Key. Um, Kingdom Hearts X, whatever. Um, it's basically a uh, computer game. Uh... MMO or something like that, you get to create your own character, but it has some relevance to the story, so it is a canon Kingdom Hearts game, but does not play like your typical Kingdom Hearts game. Um, but that's it for this unboxing. I think I'm going to go ahead and make this a unboxing slash gameplay. It probably states that in the title. What that is, basically, is me unboxing the game, and then I trans, uh, uh, what I do, um, basically transition there we go transition to gameplay so you guys get to see the game um, first impressions um, first uh, go me playing the game and uh, trying to get through the Japanese-ness of this game because obviously I'm not going to understand a lot I probably forgot how a lot especially the Roxas part uh, but I think I'll figure it out that's why there's guides and stuff online it's the exact same game that the English version uh, was except some bonus content but yeah this is sudden to play uh try out before you know it comes out here in america december the 2nd so two months away i couldn't wait so yeah and i'll probably watch the freaking uh recoded movie <laughs> i did that for uh 358 over two days on 1.5 and i was cool with it so anyway i'm gonna leave it at that enjoy the gameplay i know you could read that Oh yeah, every word of it. Hey, there's something I can read. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the only words you will ever recognize. <laughs> that opening... some, that, that's surprisingly English. Yeah, the opening sequence. 
I can read most of that. Except that bottom part. <laughs> I have an idea what it says. <laughs> cool. So and you said we were doing birth by sleep? Yeah. Now, you use these to move R2 and L2. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, it should be moving. Oh, uh -huh. somehow that's not controller one. Awesome. Awesome. Now, we're going to switch it. I feel like I've been set up here. <laughs> All right, cool. So we'll do birth by sleep. All right, it's uh, starting birth by sleep. Up circle. That now that, that one's real. And I think go to the right and press circle. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, circle again. Circle. All right, there that we go. One. That's right. gonna be your ads button, and yeah, <laughs> pretty much your action button. I don't know why. <laughs> That's J Japan. It's always been like that. Circle's always been the confirm button or whatever. It's this flip flop. It's weird. It's like, why make things harder on everyone? Yeah. You know, pro Koreans gotta, <laughs> gotta get the custom control so they can beat everybody at a single player game. <laughs> like I said, my Vita is uh, Japanese imported. Same deal. Like, really? Yeah. Kind of sucks. How's everything else Japanese? But that was said okay. Uh, we'll just go to the first option and press circle. Okay, go to the other one and press circle, this I guess. One? Yeah, I really wish I knew what it said, but, you know. That would be convenient. Oh, more words we can understand? Okay. It's... They either make everybody happy or fail at life. Or do both. I think they do both. A little bit of both. <laughs> You probably never seen the intro, have you? I haven't. Um, anybody watching? I haven't actually played Birth by Sleep, so. Trey being remastered, it doesn't look as clean as I would have expected. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Gotta remember, it came from the PSP version, so they only could do so much as making it look as good as possible. Yeah. But it is what it is. I mean, better than not being able to play it. But then again, this is your first time seeing it. It looks fine to me. It looks way better than it did before. That's another big thing. I mean, you're right, but I'm still seeing, like, you know, pixel squares. I, I can see what you mean. I mean, then again, I'm we're kind of on a bigger TV playing this. Yeah. You know, huge displays. They either, you know, they don't like, do... See, you can see it on the side of her face. And I could definitely see it right there, in a sense. Like I said, it came from PSP, so I'll cut it some slack. Fair enough. Because the, the ones they have for DS just as cutscenes they're not even playable so only you can only imagine what that will look like through gameplay yeah I mean honestly this uh, the game on PSP looked like a PS2 game which was really impressive it is what it is I'll cut slack I mean they more focus on the character models and you know actual gameplay aspect rather mm -hmm. than you know the CG cutscene they got to go from 480p to 1080 <laughs> I just think it's weird, man, because some parts of the cinematic, they get really right, and it looks beautiful, and then yeah. some parts of it are just ugly, man. I see what you mean. It's like they, like, I don't know, man. I feel like they, like, half... Asked it. Yeah. Oh, at least you don't have to watch to cut, uh, the intro every time you start the game. It's like, huh. Yeah. Sun's off here. <laughs> Alright, you guys are now watching Kingdom Hearts Somewhat Remastered. <laughs> somewhat Remastered. <laughs> Only on Normac TV. <laughs> Where we half ass shit on this channel. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Final Mix version of the game, meaning uh, you do get extra bosses and items and stuff um, compared to the original version of Birth by Sleep. Uh, normally the final mitts versions of games and you could just go ahead and start uh, with the new game which is surprisingly English right yeah, there. What say, the heck? We're, we're getting more words I, I, I actually did not notice the right side had Japanese at first. Anyway, I'm just going to press circle and start it and I'll just continue talking. Let's go to that first one. I'm pretty sure that's beginner mode. I don't need a uh, challenge. I'm um, here for the experience. I'm assuming this one? Yeah, I was going to try that one. Sure. Yeah, that 
on. Mm -hmm. All right. I hate how they have some stuff English, some stuff Japanese. Yeah. Like, can you give me a choice here? Anyway, uh, Birth by Sleep came out here in Japan. They get Birth by Sleep a year later, um, or they get the original game, and maybe a year later they'll get a uh, Final Mix version, which is a extended director's cut, basically. But it's coming here to America first, like they did with the first collection. We got uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, and now we got Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Birth by Sleep Final Mix. So it's pretty neat. Are we going to watch the intro again or something? I really hope not. What the heck? Oh, oh no. Okay. Skip. Oh, wrong button. Circle. Durr. <laughs> Can't really say durr. We're in America here. No one knew. Alright. Don't judge it, okay? <laughs> Actually, look looks pretty decent. Even though you're not about to understand a lick of what's about to be said. Yeah, definitely not. I See, will man, I'm... I'm not impressed by the remastered portion yet. I mean, I, I know mean, you it's, gotta, I know it's you, coming from a handheld, but... You, you gotta compare the two, and then you'll appreciate what's being done. Don't be... Okay. We could talk when they're talking, because no one knows what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna understand it either. I was gonna say, uh, one thing about the Final Mix games, generally, and this is weird, generally, they'll actually dub it in English. Hmm. For, even though it is a Japanese only release, even though it's coming here first, I mean, coming here now. Mm -hmm. Like Kingdom Hearts 2 or Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix, they're in English dub, but you could change it to Japanese dub if you want to. It's weird. I wonder if we get that choice. I certainly did not get that choice in Kingdom Hearts 1 1.5 HD remix when I imported that, so. I mean, it would definitely be convenient if you could. Yep. Two months, man. It's a long wait. But I'm here for my sneak peek to see what these games look like, remastered in HD, because obviously I can't play these games on my PS3 or PS4. Oh, well, like far as the PS2 disc or anything. Mm -hmm. But now I'm able to, so you gotta appreciate what's being offered. It could be the exact same game in 480p, and I'll still buy it. That's how much of a fan I am. I mean, I'm definitely a fan, but I don't know, man. I was just, I was expecting a lot more, like... I don't know. I can't really compare it because, like I said, I haven't played it. Mm -hmm. But you just thought, you know, HD remix would. You're thinking a total remaster, kind of like what they did with the ma uh, not Master Chief Collection, but Halo One Anniversary. Mm -hmm. See that they totally ripped that game apart and put it back together. You already know that took some years. This took, you know, a few months. Was to say. Yeah. Yeah, most HD collections are just like higher um, pixel character models just make everything look a little better than it was originally mm -hmm. but you know master chief collection like the detail in those those nipples is just <laughs> <laughs> well i'm not sure if we want really detailed nipples especially yeah. with the game already being no. um cartoony as it is all right we have an awkward uh yeah opening sequence we got two guys watching a shirtless little boy that's just awesome <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He didn't have to be here. <laughs> he didn't tell him to come here. Whatever. He's in a dark room. Looking lost. I think someone drugged him. I think that's what happened. This definitely looks like a night after the club. <laughs> Wake up, dark room, no like, shirt. Like, what the hell happened? That's what's going on right now. He woke him in this random ass place with this big creator. Yeah. Initially, he just got home from the club. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> <laughs> And he's still trying to figure out, is this the club or nah? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd my friends go? <laughs> Where'd my shirt go? That'd be the bigger question. Now the drugs are really taking effect right now. <laughs> <laughs> but in all reality, I couldn't really tell you what's going on right now, especially with the Japanese tats. Yeah. This is Kingdom Hearts, y'all. <laughs> don't judge, don't judge. No, this game, this series is amazing. You just gotta get to know what is going on, which is the hard part. But the gameplay is outstanding. The direction of the story, if you do follow it, it's outstanding. The characters are awesome. Do not disregard the Disney characters. I get it. We both get it. Yeah. But just ignore them. That's the thing. They're there, but you don't want to have to think about it. Because they all make a name for themselves in an awesome way. Especially King Mickey. Yeah. I don't know, man. To me, that's what kind of, like, appealed to it is because, like, 
you got to fight next to you know mm-hmm. some of your like some of the people you saw as a child except they're like it's different now yeah you know? it's, a, it's a really big impact if you grew up with this game which me and my friend here Braden, i did not introduce him um <laughs> yeah um this is something we grew up with and the, con- the series has continued on even to this day kingdom hearts 3 which is a game many 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 people are waiting on mm. is coming out and we're pretty much adults now but we're still so hyped to what it's gonna bring because that's how good this series is you want to keep following it no matter what until they screw up somehow but we'll see if kingdom hearts 3 is a screw up or not as we have waited um eight years so far something like that Kingdom, like that. Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2006, so yeah, you guys could do the math, and there's no, still no release date for Kingdom Hearts 3. Unspeculated 2016, we'll see, but... If you're wondering who these characters are, the boy that is either short, a shirtless or, you know, just being weird, obviously, his name is Ventus. I'm not sure if you knew that. You probably thought that was Roxas, didn't you? I definitely thought it was Roxas. His name is Ventus. He is... Think of him as the descendant of Roxas. He's the reason Roxas looks like Roxas. Hmm. It's weird, but like I said, Kingdom Hearts story is weird. This guy right here, you know that guy? I have no idea. Is that, wait. Who is it? He is the mask. He is the reason why everything is going on. He, I want to say Ansem, but it's not Ansem. He is half of Ansem. Half of Xehanort. Or not Xehanort, um, Xemnas. His name is Xehanort, by the way. Oh, uh, okay. Master Xehanort is what he goes by. He is a Keyblade wielder. I, I guess you could say a Keyblade master, too, but the dark side of it. Mm. And I'm not trying to spoil anything. Let's just say he got split up, and that's his whole being right there. Mm. So, yeah. But you're about to see two other characters, uh, as, you got, uh, as you saw... You saw Roxas slash Ventus. Mm. <laughs> uh, the two other... Oh my gosh, this looks weird. <laughs> but that's what they have to do with the HD collections. But the other two characters, you're going to see a blue-headed female Keyblade key wielder. Her name is Aqua. And the other guy, he's a Keyblade wielder also, obviously. No, 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 His no, no, name no, no, is no, no, Terra. So mm. They all have their own personalities and everything, but they're all friends. But darkness splits them apart. Of course. Not really as, well, Terra's the reason why they all get split apart. The land of departure. Wait, why is that in English? <laughs> why did, why is it in, uh, a Japanese subtitle, yet that title's English? It's like, can you cater to one? That makes me wonder about Japanese people who don't speak English, like... What? It's like they're getting handicapped right, here. I think we get the first look at some gameplay, though. So this is going to be more of your tutorial from what I remember. You're playing as Ventus here, kind of knowing the ropes with the combat with this game, which this combat's slightly different from the other Kingdom Hearts games. It's more like Kingdom Hearts 1. It's going to be slower paced, okay. in a sense, but not too fast like Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay, here's a first look at gameplay. Ooh, I like this. What do you think? Uh, it's pretty smooth, man. Like I said, once you compare and contrast between the two versions, you really appreciate what they've done, um, upscaling it the way they did. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really impressed from what I'm seeing here so far from a gameplay. Honestly, aspect. as far as, the, yeah, yeah, gameplay, it feels really smooth. Um, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still trying to get over the whole visual side of it, man. Like it plays really smooth. It just doesn't look very smooth. You know what I'm saying? I, I can see what you're saying. Just remember, it's a cartoon, man. I know, I'm probably just nitpicking at it, you know, looking too far into it. It plays very smooth though, it does. That's what's more important. If gameplay looks is solid and graphics are at least decent, then you got yourself a game. Just make sure the story's good yeah. and then you got yourself a legit game and hopefully it sells well if it deserves it, which Kingdom Hearts deserves the sales, I would say. But far as this game coming out in other areas of the world outside Japan, which obviously is currently out in Japan, I have imported it. It would come out here in North America, um, here December the 2nd, and in Europe December the 5th. So, got a little while, but as a fan, I could not wait. I needed a sneak peek. I'm good at turning stuff around, as far as, you know, getting money back, so, I mean, 
once I get to a point where I'm stuck and I can't get anywhere in the game, I'll, I'll get rid of it. Uh, I mean, if there's one thing I can give it, though, it, it feels very, very fluid, you know, really smooth. Um. And the reason we're doing Birth by Sleep is that Kingdom Hearts 2 is because the way Kingdom Hearts 2 starts out is really slow. I feel like I wanted to give an introduction of something that many people possibly have not played, obviously. Braden here has not played Birth by Sleep, and I just know it's going to kind of get straight into some sort of combat that's going to be more interesting to watch, I guess you could say. Obviously, it's still at a slow point of its story and gameplay, but at least we already got a keyblade out swinging at something, oh, yeah. so... I pretty much know where I kind of want to end it, so we'll probably give it another 15 minutes or so, and then okay. we're going to end it from there. As much as I would like to tell you what the hell is going on, I mean, yeah. I'm going to wait for you to get it on December the 2nd, have a clear understanding, connect the dots when it comes to the story aspect, and you'll be like, oh. I'm just glad you know I got a sneak peek at it. Mm -hmm. Same same time as me. So I got to see a little bit of Recoded. I already did watch uh, Recoded, the cutscenes. Had no idea what was going on, but it seemed interesting. I'll have to wait and wait to see what the translation is like on the 2nd of December. So. And that's Aqua. Now what's funny is, that's how Sora and Kairi interacted almost in the very first right. cutscene right. of Kingdom Hearts 1. So that's interesting. But their relationship is told. Yeah, it's pretty different. Mm. They're just friends. It's not like a love interest type deal, because you can tell with Kyrie and Sora, it's like, he likes yeah. her. <laughs> Please tell me they don't get separated and you have to go find her. And Well, he left on his own free will because he was tired of being bonded where he was. Aqua is trying to find him. Terra went off to find power, basically. So kind of like Sasuke. Uh, okay, <laughs> so initially it's just like the trio again, except they got split up. Mm -hmm. He left by choice. Okay. Because he felt like he was stuck there. He didn't have any freedom compared to his other counterparts. And that is Terra. He's a good guy, but I don't know. You get to know Terra as you play the game. Hey, his words are off. Whatever. Don't judge, man. <laughs> nah, it was like this in Kingdom Hearts 1, too. It's like, see, that looks good, but you look at the guys, it's just like, yeah. wait, is this flat face flat? Wait, his mouth isn't moving with the words. What's going on? There's one thing I'll give it though, the detail in their uh hair. No, in their their uh what would this be called? Their clothes, their gauntlet their hair. Their gauntlet, yeah. Uh, shoulder, shoulder pad. Yeah. yeah. Those those have a lot more detail, surprisingly, than the rest of their get up, if you will. Mm-hmm. So apparently some guy modded the game to have full English. I'm gonna look into that. I don't mod, I have no idea how to mod, but I'm hella interested, so I'm gonna try to mod. This is like the only ge last game I'm getting for my PS3 far as I know. There's no other games coming out to the this old generation that I want. This is probably the best one, because <laughs> I've been waiting for Kingdom Hearts to come to PS3 and we got the collection, so that works. Um, probably the last thing I'll say about, uh, about it visually is that... Um, it's almost like they pick certain things to make really good and help you focus on. Like, see the, mm -hmm. the blue mm -hmm. star thing? Mm -hmm. They made that look extremely well, and then you look at her hand and her clothes, and it's not It's so a great. vocal point thing. It's just like exactly. a, it's an illusion to take off, it take your eyes off some of the Same detail with their, things. Like, their arm pad things, you know? Like, mm -hmm. they look extremely well, and then you look at his clothes, and it's, you know... And then, uh, as far as gameplay goes, though, uh, it was a lot smoother than I expected. Um, okay, that's good. It seems a lot, uh, seems a lot cleaner almost than you know, like the first one and the 1.5 HD remix. Seems a lot cleaner. If, yeah, cause you got a chance to play 1.5 already, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That loading screen, though. So 
Hopefully we get to the part where I want to. Alright, we got some more gameplay. So I believe it's still more part of the tutorial with the happy music. Oh, sparring match. Alright. You're playing as Terra now, so. Like, yeah, I really cannot get over how just like clean it feels, you know what I'm saying? Kingdom Hearts 3, 60 frames per second, confirm. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I could uh, I could tell this is 30. I actually I'm just being completely honest. I feel like I've seen a tiny bit of drops, but it still looks good. Uh, yeah, like I, I agree with you. There's certain points where it seems like it kinda not so much Dips. lags, but yeah, like kinda falls out for a second. But I'm not a like frame rate it. freak unless we're comparing like one console against another. Yeah, sorry, I had to go there, but it's just like there's no reason for one to be better than the other. I mean, unless, you know... Looking at you, Xbox One. Sorry. <laughs> Don't ruin my Kingdom Hearts 3. You're not even supposed to have that shit anyway. Sorry, I had to go there. <laughs> Last thing I have to say about Kingdom Hearts 3, though, is, uh... See, like, it, it has its times where it kind of falls out. Yeah. If you're trying to If you're trying to run a little too much... Like, see, like, well, all right, get away from me so I can show the, like, I wonder if it's wanting you to do a certain thing. Crap, it probably is. Oh, I think you gotta get your command thing up all the way. Is I would have it? no idea. Hmm. Lock on on him, press R1. Press tr triangle. And triangle. Triangle. Hmm. Square. Yeah, that's what you have to do. <laughs> oh, okay. I want to say I saw that somewhere, but you know, I thought beating the crap out of him might, you know, do the trick. You know, that's normally how it goes. Now, I want Sud to do something it. to do with circle now. Now I have to do a lot of circles until I guess my command thing goes all the way up. Lots of circles. Lots of circle. I wish it was like a checklist type deal. Just like, you just do everything at mm -hmm. one point. But uh, that was your first look guys. <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm trying to wait till they get to uh, where they start splitting up basically. Which oh, okay. is still at the right. very beginning of the game. Right now they're just poking around with their keyblades like they know how to use it. <laughs> We got the girl coming in. No, I'm kidding. She's cool. <laughs> she, surprisingly, I didn't think about it until I saw a comment not too long ago, but she's actually, you could say, the most important character in this game. Hmm. I didn't feel that way, but from a story aspect, yes, she is. Oh, I don't like what it just did with the camera, man. It, I don't know. Because she's a girl, duh. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't mean that, guys. I don't mean it. Oh, she does car wheels. Okay. Cheerleader. See, I don't like how the camera kind of adjusts itself. But I didn't play the original, so. Did it say you kind of, what you kind of need to do? I was not paying attention. Uh, I don't think so, man. I definitely wasn't paying attention either. Oh, it says oh, yeah. information, but um, obviously we have no idea. It's sudden short. Well, it's not blocked. Oh crap, we might be in a pickle now. Mind if I give it a try? Go I want to get a feel for that combat. Press start. Okay, R1. <laughs> Something to do with that, so that helps. Some R1. Oh, that. Oh. I remember that deal. So 
So if you hold R1, you're basically like shooting crap at him. <laughs> oh, okay. That's sudden weird. I'm surprised it didn't say that on the information thing. What do you think of that soundtrack? Engaging, exciting, yeah. kinda. Uh, Probably classic Kingdom Hearts. You yeah. Know. Uh. Uh. Two. Go with the middle one. It's yeah, that one. Hmm. The okay. bottom one looks like it says pop. We could have gone with that one too. I'm assuming I'm playing as Terra. I think that's what a uh, character selection deal. I think that's what it was. I'm. I feel like I chose Terra. Oh. All right, what am I doing? Oh, fighting? I'm actually legitimately fighting now? Yep. He's having a good day after that one dream now. <laughs> yeah. He probably forgot all about it. Eh, yeah. choose that first one. Oh god. Oh, I think we pushed do it again. Oh, no, maybe not. You know what I really, really, really want? This is off topic. I don't know why I saw Aqua and I thought Mikasa from Attack on Titan. I was like, I want to Attack on Titan PS4 game. That'd be really nice, man. Freaking awesome. <laughs> and if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan, you know what this is. That's going to be your save point. Not only does it save for you, but like if your life is down, you go to that point, it actually heals you. So, normally you're already healed by the time you get to that thing, or you just don't even notice. Yeah. Cool. So, let's actually do that. You know, it'd be hilarious if I actually beat this somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if I want to make the effort to do that though. I don't think I would play it all the way through in Japanese. Nah. It would, it would just seem very. Because obviously I'm going to have to go through some walkthroughs. I mean, you saw how yeah. much trouble we had. It wasn't that bad. But as far as storyline goes, that would, it would feel very empty. Yeah. It's like, it looks cool, but what's going on now? Overall, though, I'd have to say it's, it's pretty clean. Um, mm -hmm. I can't really give it too much of a comparison, but from first play, you know? Yeah. The ran very smooth. Looked. You know, pretty good for the most part. And this game actually lasts a long time. Like, you get to choose to play as these three characters. Like, they each have their own storyline. So after you beat one, you play as the next one, and the next one, and then there is one more story even after that. And the game, uh, apparent, I might be wrong about this, but I think each character's story is supposed to at least last. That's wrong. 24 hours each? Hmm. I might be very wrong about that, because I'm surprised if I actually did that. <laughs> I love Kingdom Hearts. I don't point. know, man. For a handheld, I don't think they would really put 80 hours of gameplay into... Hmm. I'm gonna look this up while they talk about stuff we don't understand. You guys seriously did not say that at the same time. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> then you guys are like brothers and sister. You guys have that bond. In that case, but whatever. Let's see. I have a bookmark. Oh, there's that King Mickey guy. Oh, the sounds for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his voice is killing me. And this is Mickey in training before he was actually like. Kitsira as a master, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he was ever really Kitsira as a master, but obviously a superior to, you know, mm -hmm. the other Keyblade wielders in a sense. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I can find a search bar. So right now we're looking up how long Burp by Sleep is. I'm not sure if it's going to give me individual characters. Uh, let's do this the hard way. Okay. I suppose this would be where you choose the story. Yeah, it would be. Except, 
I think we might yep. just leave it at that for this video. I actually wanted to go a little further, but I didn't want this video to be too long. So we're actually going to leave it at that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first snippet of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. We'll say the first 30 minutes. Hey, not bad. Yep. But of course, comment any sort of feedback is definitely welcome and appreciate it. Thank you, Brayden, for being here for this commentary. Oh, I had a great time, man. Yeah, I like to do more dual commentary, but I never have anyone around to really do something like that. So I guess when you come by, we'll do something. All right, man. So, I'll, I'll definitely come through more often, man. So this probably won't be the first time you hear Brayden here, but he's a really cool dude. But other than that, just give this video a thumbs up, a thumbs down if you enjoyed the video or not. And subscribe if you're not already for any other gaming content I post on my channel. And I might post a little bit more of of Kingdom Hearts uh, HD 2.5 HD remix either if it's Kingdom Hearts 2 or maybe a little bit more Burp by Sleep uh, but just look out for that if you guys are interested and of course I will begin this game in English where you guys can understand <laughs> the game and actually uh, really get me it's uh, you know here the excitement coming out of me when it releases de December the 2nd here in North America but again that's it guys until next time Normac out peace